so welcome back so I did take some liberty and have created components for landed scheduled and active so let's see how they look like for Emirates for flight number 241 for yesterday's flight let's see all right so it shows landed there is a placeholder for arrival time there is a placeholder for arrival airport and city and country departure airport city and country there can be a bunch of different information like more additional information and we can do it but for now this is I think it's pretty okay all right so let's check for today the yesterday's plane has already landed and today is is in air there's a placeholder for time to land we will have the exact time as well as the time remaining to land also the same way airport information will be right here let's check for tomorrow or let's see for fourth I want to skip three for some purpose alright so this is scheduled and as you can see the template is pretty okay alright let's check what happens for third alright so there is some error and what is that error it says cannot read property status of undefined and it is at this point results and status so the thing is this can happen hmm oh, that's so smart all right so this thing can happen when you are trying to access like zeroth element and status right away so if there is no zeroth element what could happen you cannot have a status so it's gonna throw some error at this point so how can we overcome this problem we will need to add additional condition and that additional condition would be to check the length dot length is greater than zero if yes so this is uh, this will I think it will work the way we expect and let's do even an error checking so at this point data dot flight flight stats statuses and data dot flight statuses dot len equal to zero at one let's put in sorry no info available all right so let's see what happened in this case Okay, Emirates, two for one, third. All right, so now we are catching the error. It happens because there is no flight status. Maybe the flight is not running on this date or whatever reason it might be. Check for fourth, yes, we do have some information. But again, for fifth, we don't have anything. So we are supposed to catch this error. So we did this. All right, so let's work on the placeholders now. Which are the informations that we want and how are we gonna do that? So let's go into the active one first. So where is the object? Here it is. So you can get the information. First of all, let's do the time to land. In this flight statuses, in the zeroth element, you will look for operational times, and we will. I think that the best one would be scheduled, not the scheduled, but the actual. This is in air, right? So we need to look for the arrival. So estimated gate arrival. So this is something what we want. So let's do this operational times all right so active but we will need to pass something from here 
in the result status we are just passing status right so we will need flight data and what is the flight data that is flight statuses right so we should pass in flight statuses and that to the zeroth element the one which we require okay so at this point we are passing it also we need to pass it to the index and from the index to these components so we have props right there so flight data we will get it here and we can pass in for active flight data equals to flight data all right this is looking good this is looking good scheduled one is looking good all right so perfect this is what we have right now let's go into the active one where is it active is right here and let's see what do we get here I will just spread it so flight data and let's see what do we get console log flight data all right so let's check okay it's loaded and 241 today's date let's clear the console search all right so this is the active and what do we get let's check we are getting everything that we need and we will need to separate operational times for out of it so we can do something like operational time equals to flight data and we can do this thing at operational time dot let's see how the object is operational time dot estimated gate arrival and dot day dot we will use local okay so let's check what do we get on the screen okay Two for one today's date and this is perfect this is what we require so but still this is not human readable it is human readable but not good looking we can change it later with moment but yeah this is all right the next thing what we will need is the airport information and where do we get the airport information it's from appendix and as I told you before, airport, the zeroth element is arrival, first element is departure. So let me pass in the airport information as well. From the, it's supposed to be the same way from search. Airport information, airport info, or I can just have a short one. Airport info and data dot appendix dot airports i guess that is the correct one so appendix and airports all right so i have both of them and i think that's pretty much it from the search and in the results i will need to send it airport info okay this is looking good airport info i'll need to pass into the children as well so the good thing is that children are all dumb i mean dumb components so we don't want to make them interactive so it's all right okay so let's check what do we get in active okay so airport info and at this place we can just split it into 
or you know what maybe yeah we can do that that's not a problem const arrival and departure let's do airport info okay and I've structured it in a way so this one takes the zeroth element this one takes the first element and let's see how do we get this information so it's gonna be 241 today's date and appendix airports okay so I have seen something here that FS is the code of the airport and maybe even IATA looks the same but the name name is the actual name of the airport so I'll take the name and the FS so let's do this Liz name arrival dot name and arrival dot fs okay this is okay arrival dot city name do we have it named as city name let's check city okay it's just city and country code I think country name would be better so let's do this city arrival city and arrival dot country name let's check for just for arrival in the beginning how do we get it okay so emirates two four one two awesome so we are getting what we are expecting in Toronto and Canada that is perfect let's do the same thing for departure departure dot name departure dot airport code departure dot city the same way departure dot country name okay so active is almost perfect except the timing adjustment we might have to do so let's do one final check okay so that's great from Dubai to Toronto and let's do the same thing of our let's check it if this is correct so emirates okay great 241 and today's date okay so this says that the departure is dubai and arrival is toronto canada departure is dubai and arrival is toronto canada great and when is it scheduled time 9 15 a.m. December 2nd so this is December 2nd and 9 23 17 and 9 so it's like different uh, oh okay so it's estimated time this is the one so different API's might have different times but this is almost like five minute difference so this is okay so I will do one thing I'll go ahead and do the same modifications in the schedule and land date and then we will do something about this time so see you in the next video bye take care